Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about a real elusive OG and I am talking about Bigfoot. So I was looking on the internet trying to find some cool stuff and holy fuck did I find a good one. This is an actual local news article from Spectrum News 1 published by a girl named Sheena Elsey at 4 p.m. Eastern February 24th of 2020. So it turns out if you're a Bigfoot investigator, researcher, historian, or if you're just looking for the guy because he owes you money, you may not have to search any further than Ohio. Okay, the article here says, Bigfoot sightings reported in Ohio. Investigator says he has proof. And the article goes on to say here, Warren County, Ohio. It's a creature of myth, legend, written about in scary stories, something that comes lurking around in the woods, but to people who showed up for a presentation at the Franklin Library, it's very real. We got some bullet points here. It says, Bigfoot investigator says he's seen the real-life Bigfoot in Ohio and has proof. He played what he says are Bigfoot audio recordings at the Franklin Library. And get this, at least 60 people showed up for the presentation and many claim they have also seen Bigfoot. One by one, guests at the library took the microphone to say they have seen what looked like Bigfoot. And we got some quotes here. We went back and came back, and it walked into the woods, said a guest. That's when I saw something. Walking on the tracks, said a guest. I looked over and I seen a big black mass, and I thought it was a bear, said a guest. But Mark Deworth says he knows Bigfoot is here in Ohio. Looks like Dworth talking here. I went to an old strip mine looking for badger's dens because apparently that's something people do in Ohio. Uh, and on the way out, I got followed out. And lo and behold, on the other side of the strip mine, there it was. And it stood up and looked at me, said Dworth, Bigfoot investigator. And he says he has proof they exist. So what proof are we looking at here? In a packed room at the library, he played what he says are sounds from a real Bigfoot and then showed everyone a mold of a footprint he says came from Bigfoot. If I can find those audio recordings, I'm going to play those here. <clears throat> but um, these are definitely from Ohio, he continues. These are legitimate Sasquatch tracks. The article goes on here and it says this is just some of the evidence he's collected over the last 30 years. He's been investigating Bigfoot sightings. So he's been doing this for 30 years. This is a thing that's been going on for a long time. This, in, this uh, organization's probably been around for probably longer than 30 years. These are definitely from Ohio. These are legitimate Sasquatch tracks. They've been examined by different scientists, said Deworth. Now, I didn't do any cross-referencing to figure out where they'd been sent to or examined, but... This has happened quite a few times. People get these Bigfoot tracks, they take molds of them, and they send them They send them off. Okay, so Dworth is a volunteer investigator with something called the BFRO, or the Bigfoot Field Research Organization. He says he's investigated more than 300 reports and sightings from Ohio alone. So guys, Ohio is a giant hotspot for Bigfoot sightings. I have never knew. He says a lot of them were hoaxes, a lot of them were misidentifications, but at least a third were definitely telling the truth, said Deworth. Now, I mean, I've heard people tell Bigfoot stories, and some you could tell are just complete bullshit, but some of them, yeah, they are believable. And uh, as far as misidentifications, that's crazy. How do you misidentify a giant ape-like man thing in the woods? A bear standing up, or bear, like, maybe a bear. A bear would be the only thing, or a giant hairy man. It, it is Ohio. Fair enough. Okay, that's part of the reason he takes his message across the state, telling everyone how to tell the difference and where to spot a real Bigfoot. We got another quote here. They're following waterways, your creek beds. That's the least path of resistance. The least path of resistance. So I guess it's like easier to run through the creek beds and those are the areas to look if you have heavy deer population and deer. It's a little redundant there, said, but uh, if you have heavy deer population and deer, said Deworth. I always tell people, go Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, go east, you have a chance. 
but they're convinced Bigfoot, the creature of legend, lives among us and might be closer than you might think. Okay, I just thought this was super interesting. I never knew Ohio was a giant Bigfoot place. That's just that's just super wild. Um, definitely comment below if you believe in Bigfoot. If you don't believe in Bigfoot. Uh, if you've seen Bigfoot, definitely comment and let me know. If you're from Ohio and you've seen a Bigfoot, you absolutely have to comment in the video because I want to talk to you <laughs> because that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, I personally think that Bigfoot can be a thing. I, I honestly think it would have to be some crazy, like, crazy something else. If this was a physical thing living in the woods and all these random places, we would we would see it. Some we like we would know, right? Maybe. I don't know. Give me your opinion on that too. Anyway. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, if you got any more crazy articles and stuff to send me, I love reading this shit, man. Give it to me. Anyway, until next time.